YouTube friends. I'm trying to adjust myself over here. So I just did the Peapod. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? The Peapod grocery pickup for the first time at my local grocery uh, place, Giant Food Stores in Bartonsville, Pennsylvania. So this is a way that you can buy your groceries online, pay for it online, and then just drive up, call them, tell them, hey, I'm here, and then they bring the groceries out to you. Hello, that's awesome. I like going inside because I'm a talking person and I like to talk to my friends and I like to browse and shop and use my um, reusable bags and, and do all that fun stuff. But uh, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to see what all this hoopla is about. And I think it's really cool, especially if you're kind of on the go and you just don't want to like have to run inside and deal with all the hassle of registering or, you know, cash registers and bumping through people or whatever. Um, I thought it was really neat. So here's the dealio. I did it through, through the giant website. Um, I got a $20 off for my first time doing it. I don't know if other grocery stores do that. I know that. I got it because it was my first time doing it. So I logged in with an account and I just chose what I wanted. I went through their specials. I, I typed in the search what I was looking for and I put all my groceries in there. Then uh, I put my credit card. It told me how much it was. So then um, I got an email. Oops, sorry. I got an email saying that it's going to be ready today between 10 and noon or 11 and noon. So when you drive up, when I drove up to the parking lot, I wasn't sure where to go. So I called the store and told them they have like three, no, six spots, three on each side. And it said designated for Peapod grocery pickup, pickup number one, two, three, and then four, five, six. So then I, I pulled into the stall number two and, and it even tells you, call this number, let them know of your arrival. So when I called them like, Hey, I'm letting you know of my arrival. Um, and she goes, okay, cool. What's your name? I gave her my name. She pulled up my account. She said, okay, give us a few minutes and we'll be out there. So I sat in my car and the lady brought my groceries out. You could see they're in, um, it's in like craziness back there right now, but they're in, um, there's like jackets all over the place for my kids. They came in, um, brown paper bags, which is yay. Pretty cool. Awesome. I was kind of bummed that I didn't use my reusable bags that I like to use, but brown paper bags, that's totally awesome much better than that flimsy plastic ones. Um, and then they gave me a whole thing saying my account, what I purchased. The lady was really nice. She gave me a breakdown. She did tell me there were certain things that were out of stock. Like for example, I wanted the blue diamond almond breeze vanilla milk and they substituted with the silk almond vanilla milk and which is actually cheaper because the blue diamond was 319 and the silk almond was 250. So I told her, I said, okay, that's fine. So she's going to credit my account. So instead of being, I think it was actually 108. I got a $20 new customer coupon discount. So it came out to um, 88. So um, she's just going to credit that difference of like a dollar or something. And then there was something else. Um, there was a Mandarin, not Mandarin. I'm sorry. There was a... Um, Oh, mango. I wanted these mango chunks. I usually buy one big mango for my son, but I wanted to try the mango chunks for my smoothie. They didn't have it, so they were going to substitute it um, for frozen mango. I wouldn't mind, but I know my son's not going to eat frozen mango. So I told her, oh no, that's okay. I don't want that. So she said, that's fine. So she took it off. She circled it on her copy and she's going to credit me the $2.50. So I'm going to get a $2.50 credit. And then that difference of that dollar something for the almond milk. So pretty awesome, right? And then I asked her, I said, well, how does the payment go? Because I already paid it yesterday when I did my purchase. No, no, no. When I put my credit card last night, it's a temporary hold credit card. Because then they go over everything to make sure that my order is correct. I looked in the bags, everything looked fine. And that if there's any substitutions, if there's going to be a difference in money, whether it's more or less or if there's anything that I didn't want that's substituted. And then she's gonna go inside and then finalize my bill. That's awesome. So that $88 is actually gonna go down a little bit more. So then uh, in a couple of days, I could check my credit card statement and see exactly what it was, what the difference is gonna be. I have my receipt. Um, the drawback, 
is that I did not notice online if there's a place for coupons and I love my coupons. So I didn't notice if there was a place that I can scan coupons and then obviously I'm not going to be able to scan coupons in the parking lot. Actually, I don't know. Now I don't know if she had a scanner thing. I didn't ask. So learning curve, ask and find out if they could take coupons because if they can't, that brings my bill even lower. I was able to add my Giants rewards card online. So I'm going to rack up the points for that. Um, a downfall is that I don't know how it works with the Ibotta app. And I love the Ibotta app. I've been using that for years. I've made back hundreds of dollars. If you don't know the Ibotta app, I will hook you up with the info. It's a free app you download on your phone. And then every week it updates. So like, for example, let's say uh, the Ibotta app for Giant this week had 50 cents back if you bought um, silk almond vanilla milk. <laughs> And I bought silk almond vanilla milk. So then what I would do is I would go home, scan my receipt. Um, well, first I have to add that into the Ibotta cart, scan my receipt, and then it would register that. And then it would put 50 cents into my Ibotta account. And then it would just add up. And I think after $20, you can transfer it to a checking account or to PayPal. So I've made hundreds of dollars back on this with grocery stores. They have it with clothing stores. So you can make a lot of good money. And it's basically free money because I've already bought the item. It's something I was going to buy. If there's things that I don't want, then obviously I'm not going to get the money for it. But if it's something that I bought that they're at offering a refund for, then I get that money. Now with this, I don't see what I would scan. So I don't know if it works with Ibotta. I have to find out. If not, that would be kind of bummed because I can make a couple bucks off of this thing. So I'll have to find out. So um, yeah, that's a drawback. But convenience, it's really awesome. I have somebody bringing all my stuff out. I have to make sure everything is still in there <laughs> that I wanted and make sure nothing's missing. But that can happen at a regular register where you leave your bag behind anyway. So I thought that's really pretty cool. You know, it's, it's really great because I'm also keeping track of my budget where I'm online shopping. I can go back and say, no, I'm going to take that out. Oh, it's over my budget because it, it shows me the subtotal and see how much I'm spending. Oh, I'm going to take that out as opposed to needlessly meandering through the aisles that I love to do and saying, oh, that's on sale. Oh, that's on sale. Didn't need that, but it's on sale. And the next thing you know, I'm like at 160 or more. I'm not, I hope not. Not, no, if my husband's watching. But you know what I mean. This really helps control your budget because you do it at home. I don't have my kids saying, mommy, 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 I want this, I want this, I want this. And I can go in there and just delete it. Oh, and it did tell me after I checked out that I had, this was last night that I did it. It told me that I had until seven o'clock this morning to edit it. So I guess, you know, they give you a window of time to make sure that what you have in your car is what you want before the person then goes and takes everything and pulls it for you. Then they asked, what time do I want to pick it up? So it's like anywhere between 7 a.m. to whatever time they had. So I chose between 11 and 12. So it worked out perfect. So within that one hour, um, I didn't get any frozen items. So that's good. But in between that time frame, they have time to go and get all my stuff and get it ready. So this is really cool. So check it out. That's my review of the Peapod way of getting your groceries online and having somebody bring it out to you. And uh, I'm excited. I'm going to go home and now put my groceries away. All right, guys. If you have any questions or comments, like, subscribe. Check out some more awesome cool videos on my channel. Peace.